XHR, also known as XML HTTP request. Check this out. De bitch. R for read. Table hex. What are we going to read? Red. What's the value of red? Well, the value of red is 87. Check out the pretty print. Oh, no, there's the pretty print. 87 in the red. Okay, so let's go over here for a second. Now, let's just uh, press, a, press a letter, any letter. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God, we got the data. Where'd that data come from? We pressed the letter and we got data. Awesome. Now, let's go look at the code. So if we look at the code. Here is our XHR helper function. This is the HTTP verb. This is the relative path to the API we want to use. Uh, we return a promise. Here's the executor function. Here we make the URL a little bit flexible, appending a slash if we need one when we're concatting the domain with the API. Down here is the XHR logic. Once we get to ready state four, that means we're done talking to the server and we can respond with the response text, which is the JSON using the acceptor function of the executor. So now let's go to the second delta. Here is where we press any key down, any key goes down. We make this request. It's going to be a get request to that URL you saw me use earlier. And we are logging out the information which you saw End of story.